what's the score now? 56-34. 33, last fight doesn't count. We agreed on that, Doug. You agreed on that. Tricked me my ass. Didn't stop you counting today, did it? Didn't come up lame today, did I? You got your car with you? Yeah, I got my car. Great, you can give me a drive home. So, what's the stop us? Looks for the crown prince to drop in. Outside with them. I missed my ride. Bullshit. You were playing one-on-one -on -one with Doug. Shut up, Doug. Hey, see you. Somebody smells like a locker room. You hang around a lot of locker rooms at the end. Thanks. Shut up. Shut up. There. What's this, uh, kinesiology? <laughs> no, kinesiology. Oh God, I don't Study care room. how you pronounce it. It's just your dad and I wanted to know... You wanted to know... ...what this kinesiology is going to get you when you graduate, may I ask? Cover girl in the second? I don't know. Oh, Ow! Like around here. Figured on being maybe a gym teacher or something like that. How we decided on something a little more professional? What, like uh, Guy Lafleur or Bobby Orr? No, like medicine or pharmacology. Don't be rude. <laughs> Don't you even know what a real profession is, dumb? Oh, listen to the expert talking. Queen of the locker room. What's wrong with your leg? Oh, I just twisted it. It's okay. Listen, right after supper, I want to sit down and discuss this uh, kinesiology. Can't I got to study for an exam? Can we get the gravy? After the exam, I'll do fine. Can't smart out. We're playing U of A. It's a big tournament. I see. Well, like your dad says, you're all grown up now. You don't need my approval anymore. But uh, before you sit down, nip upstairs and make your bed. Oh, come on, Mom. I'm starving. Oh, poor widow Terry. Dad, do I? Want some help with your hospital corners, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Watch well, out, yellow. Well, yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh, watch out. Ah, ah, you're ah, you're ah, right again. Ah, you big <laughs> jerks. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, I got you. I got Can you. Anyone get into this? Go get him, right? Ready for the big time? Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, it's the old man again. Help, help, get his other arm. Okay, okay, get this arm. I got him. Ow! Jesus Christ, Judas. What happened? I'm sorry. Maybe it's serious. Maybe it's ligaments. Is that it, Dad? Do I need an operation? tumor in your knee. What's that? That's cancer. So we're going to have to amputate your leg, start chemotherapy treatments to kill any cancer cells that may be circulating in your body. You're going to cut off my leg? Yes. I'll be frank with you. You have a 50 to 70 percent chance of survival. Now, two years ago... You're going to cut off my leg. I don't believe this. Shit, what the hell am I going to do without my leg? Don't swear, Terry. How can you say that to me? They're gonna cut off my leg. They're gonna cut off my leg.
this is only temporary until your stump quits changing shape. Go ahead, put all your weight into the bucket. Come on, all of it. Yeah, that's it. it feels funny. My leg's still there. Okay. Now, I want you to try it. Come on. It's not going to fall off. It's held down by suction. It's really weird. It's like mm -hmm. stepping on air. Your treatment, Terry, is going to take 12 to 14 months. But after you've been here for a few weeks, well, you'll be able to spend most of that at home. Now, I have to warn you that chemotherapy is not very pleasant. We use two very powerful drugs, adriamycin and methotrexate, and they have very strong side effects. You're going to lose your hair, although that'll grow back. You're going to be very sick to your stomach. And I must warn you that there's also some danger of heart failure. Forget it, I'm not doing this anymore. Mr. Fox. Forget it. Leave me alone. Forget it. Orderly. 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 Pretty good. Thanks. Just picked it up a few weeks ago. Mm. I'm already another Picasso. <laughs> anyway, it keeps you away from the zombies for a while. Yeah, how do you stand this place? Well, you either fight it or you give up and eat poppies. Bob Kitty, Hodgkin's disease. Terry Fox, a coma of the knee. So they chopped it off and all's well that ends well? Yeah, I guess so. How about you? Me, I was, uh, Supposed to drop dead last October. But the treatments are working. I chuck my guts out every day for five or six hours. But the tumor's gone. Chest is clearing. They call me Bloody Lazarus. Hey, listen, you mind if I do your picture? Yeah, sure, okay. Terry, I gotta go to school. Lens off, will ya? Hey, you walking the car in there or something? You've been in there for 25 minutes. Just shut up for God's sakes! You just can't stand losing Kenya. Rick Rock. Where'd you get that one? So what's bothering you? Can I look out a window without having a problem? Oh, cheeky now. I know when you're brooding. This is so ridiculous, racing Doug up and down that bloody mountain. 
Where's it gonna get me? Put rockets in my wheelchair and shoot for the bloody sun? We well, are overdoing it, you know? Hey? Got your basketball four nights a week, sit-ups, push-ups. You think so, do you? You're dropping barbells all over the floor upstairs. You're knocking plaster off the ceiling. That's because I never felt better in my life. Listen to you. They're calluses. You know what we should do? No. Just before Dad and the kids get home. And see you and me slip out down to the pub for a beer or two. I can't go to a pub tonight. I got chemotherapy tomorrow. So that's it. I hate that place. Oh, come on. Terry, you're almost through. The results are negative. I can't stand to see people hurt so much. And look, even your hair's growing back. It's all curly now. Don't, Mom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just leave me alone. Bob, Katie? Look, you uh, want to play a little one-on-one? -on -one? Don't jump in the rebounds, okay? I don't want to run you over with my chair. I know. Don't worry, I'm fast. <laughs> you are pretty good at this. I've done it before. Thanks a lot. Jump shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> you did it. That was great. You did it. Hey, you'll be ordering a cheeseburger, fries, and a shake in a couple of weeks, eh? <laughs> um. Gogi, I'll be right back. You wait right here, okay? Here. Hi. I was sort of just passing by. Who is that guy you were with? Oh, that's Gogi. He's uh, mentally handicapped. Oh. Look, what's your name? Rika. Mine's Terry Fox. 
I know. Look, um, on Friday nights, I don't do too much. How about you? Not much. Well, maybe we could do it together. I mean, I don't know, maybe go to dinner or... Would you go out with me? No. <laughs> of course I would. You would? Sure. But right now, I gotta go. See ya. Okay. Bye-bye. You don't mind if I hold your hand? Oh, no. Go ahead. But you're supposed to be shy. Well, I don't feel shy when I'm with you. Oh, come on. You can't even look at me in the eye. Yeah, sure I can. I like looking at you. Then look. <laughs> See? There's a couple of things you should probably know about me. Well, like what? Well, for one thing, I'm a champion arm wrestler. You're a champion arm wrestler? Yeah. Come on. You ready? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. What was the other thing? What other thing? The other thing I was supposed to know about you. Oh. I'm a Christian. So? So? It's important to me, believing in God. And when I get close to someone, I like to know how they feel about God, too. Well, I don't know what I feel about God, but I know how I feel about you. Not for. Because it's you. <laughs> Look, don't. Not my hair. Oh, come on. Come here. Come here. I'll do it real gently, and I'll comb out every curl. Okay? Look, you may not understand this, but losing my hair was worse than losing my leg. When I lost my leg, I figured that was it. That was the price I had to pay, and I paid it. Losing my hair. This reminds me of the cancer inside. <laughs> you just don't know what it's like in that clinic. Little kids, babies, things going out of the side of their head. One night, I go to bed, there was this kid in this bed across from me. When I woke up in the morning, he was gone. And there was another kid in the bed, looking scared to death. He didn't even know what he was in for.
You're crazy. You're gonna wreck your stump. Now, if you build me a bucket that fits right. Yeah. How does the leg work now? Mm, it works fine. First couple of laps hurt. It takes a long time for my right leg to come through, though. Mm -hmm. My left leg has to take all the stress. Yeah. Got a couple of blisters, too. But I did it. I ran a whole mile. Yeah. Look, they want us to drive up the road and see where he is. No, he'll be here. What's wrong with showing how you feel? They're all asleep anyway. Doug's not asleep. Yeah, but he's driving. He's also looking at me in the mirror. What's he gonna see in the door? <laughs> Silly bunny. <laughs> we can we keep a secret? Sure. Next summer, I'm gonna run across Canada. In all the way across Canada. You don't believe I can do it? No, I know you can do it. You can do anything you want to. That's what I love about you. All I meant was, can your body take it? Yeah, sure my body can take it. All right. So it's a big secret. I just don't know what I'm finding out. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> The doctor's office called at 3, wondering where you were. Hey, Mom? Mm hmm Next summer, I'm going to run across Canada. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, Mom, I am. Terry, you're doing no such thing. Mom, look, I'm not asking your permission. I'm telling you. And I'm telling you that that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard, okay? You run it across. You know, I knew you were going to say something like that to me. You don't understand anything I do. You don't even know why I run. Go ahead, run. Run marathons. Run across you know, the Columbia. You've got all your doctors there. here. There's doctors everywhere. 